Good morning, y'all. We back in Simply Marvelous Kitchen. I'm about to show, demonstrate to you how to make grandma's biscuits. Now, basically, I went ahead on and measured four cups of flour, which I actually sifted. And then I'm going to add a cup of Crisco shortening. Any kind of shortening will work. It doesn't matter what kind you do. You just can't use oil. I said a cup. I don't measure, so I'm going to measure a cup of, of, of um, shortening. And then you're going to make a make a make a valley in the middle make a hole in the middle of your flour and then you're just gonna chop your shortening up until your flour until little pieces until all of it's coated with the flour okay. I'm gonna pull the flour from the side into the middle don't take your flour, and you gotta go in from the inside of the flour, not from the outside by the bowl. You're gonna work it in from the inside. Now. And you're gonna chop these up until small pieces. You don't want hunks. You don't have to be so small, but you don't want big hunks either. Okay, I'm gonna take that. And to this, I'm gonna add a half a cup. I'm using canned cream, but you can use milk, either one, or if you don't have any milk, to make it cheap if you're hungry and you know, you can maybe can't budget out some milk, you can use water. It's just the fact that your biscuits aren't gonna brown if you use water. If you want a perfectly brown biscuit, you have to use butter. I mean, you have to use milk. And now I'm gonna knead this until you get all the shortening mixed in to this. If you need more, more milk, you just add your milk a little at a time. Until you can see all your shortening pull away from the flour that's around the bowl, the edge of the bowl. Now when you get that done, you're gonna stop using your utensils. Maybe you need to wear gloves, you don't like the feel of stuff, or you don't want something on your hand. But I choose to use my hand. And then you're gonna work it in. You're gonna work it up, you're gonna knead it. You're gonna knead the flour, knead the mixture. Until it becomes a consistent ball around the bowl. You don't want any wetness, dampness. You want, you want it to be a ball. You're gonna make sure you got all of it from around the edge of the flour. Gonna work it all in. And then you're gonna stop putting your flour in. You're just gonna knead it so everything will be mixed in very well. All your shortening will be mixed in with your flour. You don't need any more flour from around the side of the bowl. So try not to incorporate any of that extra flour until this dough. Basically, you just don't want it to stick to the bowl. That's why the flour is on the side. But basically, if you add, continue to add flour to it, they're gonna be dry and be like hockey pucks. We don't want the hockey puck. So, you can make pie crust the same way. You just use more flour. I mean, you use less flour so it'll be more short more greasier, that's all the pie crust is. So basically, this is how you want your dough to be, just like that, same way you got those, you want your consistency to be the same way those Pillsbury biscuits are y'all be buying. So, this is what you're gonna have, finished result of a biscuit. Now, you can take it and spread it with a rolling pin, or you can just pinch it off and make balls like this. But I, today, I'm gonna fry them because my mini me wants hers fried this morning. So we're gonna fry this and when we come back, see this is the size that you want. You're gonna place this in the pan just like that. So I'm gonna let you guys go and I'm gonna come back when it's done and let you see the finished product. Well basically you put these in the oven at 350, 400 for 15 minutes and you have a golden brown biscuit. I'm gonna come back and let you see the finished product. You're gonna add about I say a good two tablespoons of oil. 
to a hot pan. Gotta make sure that bottom of that pan is covered. You gotta take like a a lemon sized ball of dough. You're gonna flatten it out. Good and flat. And then you're gonna put in the pan. You gotta make sure it soaks up the grease all the way around it. So it'll be nice and crispy on the top. Depends on the size that you want it. You can do them smaller, either you can do them larger. I suggest you do them this size if you don't want them to break up. Cook on one side. It's kind of like doing a pancake. Basically. It's just a thicker pan version of a pancake. This one was the first screw in, so let's see how it's looking on the other side. It's not ready yet. You can basically tell when it's ready because it'll slide up real easy. did tear up a little but you know it's because I played with it for a minute that one didn't tear but that's the way it should actually look on the outside you might have to flip them a couple times for them to get done in the middle so maybe twice on both sides you're gonna cook this for basically probably maybe about five minutes five to six minutes and if you, yeah, your oil dries up too much, just put a little bit more oil in it. And that way they won't stick. And they'll be crispy on the bottom. Maybe about two minutes you want to flip it over so they don't burn you don't want them to burn as you as you mash down you'll see it's not done you can tell when it actually gets done because it'll be more firmer and it won't give so easy it'll tear up when it gets done you'll know it's done because it'll start to tear We'll be back when it gets done. Now we have the finished product. I fried the, the, the biscuit dough about five minutes, about a minute on each side so it don't burn. And basically I put some syrup on it. You can eat it with jelly or you can eat it how you want it. But basically this is a breakfast with the whole cake, which is basically a biscuit just fried. And that's it, y'all. Yeah?